How do you make YouTube safe for kids? I've made a couple of videos like this in the past. It's a very important topic and I wanna give you some more information in this video. I've got nine recommendations I'm gonna share with you that will help keep your kids safe, so let's dive in. Now to keep kids completely safe, we just don't put them on YouTube altogether. But the reality is YouTube can be a very valuable platform. It can be entertaining, but it can also be a platform for learning. So we're gonna talk about some good channels that I can recommend, how to keep your kids safe, and how you can have an ad-free experience on YouTube. First recommendation is set up a family account. Now the more of these steps that you can follow with your kids, the better. So maybe have your kids with you and you can create a YouTube account. You can choose the name, you can let them know the password. This way they take ownership of it so it's not something that you've created that's separate from them, but they're involved. If you have a family account, this will allow you to see the watch history. You'll be able to see the subscriptions on the channel and you'll be able to see what content is uploaded to the channel. Tip number two, YouTube does have a safety feature. I call it safe mode, but they change it now. It's called restricted mode. I wish they would change it back to safe mode, but it will filter out a little bit of the bad content, the content that's meant for adults or that has strong language. Now, if I were to tell you where to find it, by the time you watch this video, YouTube's gonna move it somewhere else. So just search for restricted mode in the settings. Tip number three, once you've got your channel created, you've got safe mode turned on, subscribe to good channels. I'm gonna give you some of my favorites, channels that I like, that I like to watch with my kids and that my kids just love. So definitely check out Outdoor Boys. Now Luke is the dad and he has a son named Tom and Tom's created his own channel called Outdoor Tom. Another great channel that's fun and it's science-based, Mark Rober, definitely check out his channel. He does have a program, their build kits, and that's based on a YouTube channel called Crunch Labs. I actually recommend it. Now another channel that I'm gonna recommend, I love it for myself, my son watches it with me, but you may wanna watch it first to see if it's right for your kids. It's a British guy named Colin Furs. Now his content is clean, but sometimes his language isn't perfect. Another science channel that I recommend is called Action Lab. I know I say science, but these are actually really fun videos. Now, if you wanna look for a family-friendly adventure channel, check out Less Junk, More Journey. I've actually met them. It's a family of four. They live in an RV and they travel the world. It's a lot of fun. Now, if you've got teens that are really into tech, the best channel for tech that I can recommend is MKBHD, that's Marquez Brownlee. Now, sometimes his language isn't perfect either, but I would call it occasional mild swearing. He does tech reviews for adults. This isn't meant for children, but there's a lot worse out there that you could be watching, and I would say these are the best reliable tech reviews. You've probably heard about Mr. Beast. Check out that channel. Now, a lot of parents won't agree with me on this one, but I actually recommend it. The videos are really entertaining and your kids are probably gonna find a way to watch it even if they go to their friend's house. My wife isn't a fan of the channel because she thinks it's obnoxious. And there are real world characters in a lot of his videos. They try to edit out most of the swear words. There is one guy on there that's occasionally there and he's transgender. Now the videos aren't about that, but I just want you to be aware. All right, now I don't know why I'm feeling emotional here, but here's the biggest reason why I actually recommend that you subscribe to Mr. Beast. Kids love Mr. Beast, they love his episodes. He's got another channel though called Beast Philanthropy. I think kids these days need to see people that are famous that are doing really good things. So definitely check out Beast Philanthropy. Here's some other fun ones. There's Matt's Off-Road Recovery. It's clean, it's family friendly, and for some reason, I love it. And a character that used to be on that YouTube channel, his name is Tom Tom. He's now created his own YouTube channel, Tom Tom's Shop. If your kids are into mechanics or fixing things or off-road, check out those two channels. Now, I've got a few more channels to recommend that are family friendly. I know these families. I don't actually watch their channels, but check them out and see if it's a fit for you. There's the Ninja Kids. My boys compete in Ninja Warrior, and this family does as well. So we're great friends with their family. Their content is a lot of fun. It's a little bit high energy for me, but see if you like the Ninja Kids. Two more, check out Ohana Adventure and check out the What's Inside family. Those are recommendations for me. I recommend talking to other parents and see if there's channels that they like and that they would recommend. Okay, so let's move on to tip number four. Tip number four is to hide channels that you don't wanna see anymore. So you go to the home screen of YouTube and scan through it and say, I don't really want to see videos from that channel or videos like this. So you can pick on an individual video, click the three little buttons and it will say hide video or hide channel. 
So do that in the beginning. Go through and search for channels that you don't actually want to see anymore. The more videos that you watch, those show up in your search history and that helps YouTube know what other videos to recommend to you. So if you accidentally click on a video that you don't like or you click on something and you realize, ah, this isn't what I was hoping for, you can go into your watch history and you can delete videos from it. Now, this can have a con to it as well. If your kids watch something and they don't want you to know about it, they can delete it from the history. So understand that that's possible. You have to do that on your computer, not on a TV that has the YouTube app. I'm the only one that uses this computer right here, but I clean out my history just so it can make sure that it's giving me the right recommendations. The videos and the channels that I like that I regularly watch, I want to be full in my YouTube history so it'll make the right recommendations to me. I recommend paying for YouTube Premium. It started at 10 or $11 a month. I think it's moved up. Maybe it's 13 or $14 a month, but it's so worth it because I never see commercials. I never see ads on YouTube. So if you pay for that, that means that your kids won't see ads. They won't see commercials and they'll get so used to that that they won't want to sign out and sign into another YouTube account. They'll want to watch the one that you're paying for YouTube premium on. Now, when you upload a video to YouTube, set it to unlisted or to private, not to public because not everything you put on YouTube you want to go public. Teach your kids about this and go into the settings, go to the default upload settings and set your default to unlisted or to private. If it's set to public, then automatically when you upload a video, it'll go live to the public and you might not intend that. Now the one YouTube feature that is social is comments. To keep your kids safe, you might want to consider turning off comments. You can disable that feature so no one can comment on it. If you have that feature on, make sure you monitor the comments or there's another feature that comments need to be reviewed before they go live and you can be the one to review those comments. Tip number nine, watch YouTube with them. Watch episodes with them. Make this a family activity. When you're watching with them, you can control and have it be a good experience. Now, I've got a bonus tip for you, and that is to upload good content yourself. That's what I do. I produce over 50 different YouTube channels, and if you wanna learn the strategy from that perspective, how to create good content for YouTube, I've created another episode that you might enjoy. It's called the three video YouTube formula for lead generation. I'll link to it on this page. You can go watch that video now.